mums and dads out there, Mr Speaker. Thank you. I call the Honourable Member Brendan Burns. Uh, like all members of this House, I'm pleased to support this bill as introduced the non-bank deposit takers bill. It's another leg in the reform process to end some of the rorts that have gone on across the financial services sector over the last few years, and it's been a very sorry toll uh, for many New Zealanders, an $8.6 billion toll, uh, which has seen a lot of people lose their life savings because of the lack of regulation around some of the people uh, operating in the uh, less regulated part, if you like, of the financial market. And it's a, ro a roll call of shame when you consider companies like Blue Chip, uh, Lombard, Hanover Finance is one that particularly resonated for me because I always had some distaste about the way they advertised on our state-owned television channel, Hanover Finance, the name you could trust trading, I thought, upon the reputation of Television New Zealand. And, of course, that turned out to be absolutely the opposite of what was the case. It was not a company you could trust. There was no real regulation of it. It was taking the deposits of mum and dad investors and simply siphoning them across into the uh, speculative investments and ventures of the two principals of that company, Mark Hodgins and Eric Watson, two men who I believe stand condemned for what they've done to many thousands of New Zealanders. So therefore I'm very pleased to see this bill which uh, is another step in the right direction, another uh, hopefully nail in the coffin of those who fleeced many thousands of New Zealanders of their, their life savings. And when we consider that there's sometimes debate in this House around the costs of regulation. And I'm looking through the excellent regulatory impact statement for this bill prepared for the House tonight, and I noted this in the regulatory impact sta statement, saying that the cost of licensing all of the expected applicants under this bill will be approximately $160,000. $160,000. $160,000 to regulate a, an industry or a portion of an industry, those non-bank de deposit takers, who make up a large portion of those who have taken $8.6 billion from sometimes naive New Zealanders, also New, New Zealanders who put their faith and trust in flash advertisements, style over substance. Uh, and who have paid a very, very high price for that. So this is good to see that we as a parliament are agreeing that those charlatans and rogues deserve to be subject to regulation. That's what this bill is about, licensing those non-bank deposit takers, uh, requiring their directors and senior officers to be vetted by the Reserve Bank, empowering the Reserve Bank to de-license uh, the non-bank deposit takers in prescribed situations, uh, requiring the consent of the Reserve Bank where there are changes in the ownership of these organisations, um, bolstering the powers of the Reserve Bank to obtain information about these uh, MBDTs, as the uh, acronym goes, and empowering the Reserve Bank to remove directors of non-bank deposit takers in the appropriate circumstances. So, great to see the Bill getting this, uh, these powers, the Reserve Bank getting these powers, and uh, like most members, if not all members of this House, I commend this bill to the House. I call the Honourable Member Michael Woodhouse.